On these two problems, again, you're asked to use a proportion to solve them. And so you've got to find out what is something. You got two, Basically, you're looking for two separate scenarios that have things in common. In this case, it says Jacob ran 10 miles in 80 minutes. So that's a scenario. That's a rate. You can write that rate down as 10 miles, for, and it would take him 80 minutes. If you wanted to simplify that, you could. You could find out that it's one-eighth mile per minute, but you don't really need to. You can leave it like that for now if you want. And the second says, at that rate, how far would he run in 2.5 hours? Well, so we're trying to find out how far. So that's our variable, and that's on top because miles is how far, and x is how far. So those both should be in the numerator. The denominator should be the time, but we don't want to write 2.5. And the reason we don't want to write 2.5 is because 2.5 is in hours, but the 80 is in minutes. So either need, I need to convert the 80 to hours or the 2.5 to minutes, which 2.5 to minutes will be easier. And then you can go back and use our unit rates. 2.5 hours is equal to, well, one hour is 60 minutes. So the hours cancel, so it's 2.5 times 60, which is 150 minutes. Now I can do the problem. I just do my cross products. 80 times x equals 10 times 150, which is 1,500. And then to solve it, I'm going to divide both sides by 80. And get x equals 1,500 divided by 80, which equals 18. 0.75. And so he can go in two point if they're going at a rate of 10 miles in 80 minutes, and they can travel 18.75 miles in 2.5 hours. The last one, Mark bought 12 cookies for $2.70. So it'd be 12 cookies is the rate per uh, $2.70. Now you could do a more traditional rate, which would be dollars per cookie. But you could write it this way, too. It doesn't matter. The proportion will set it up right, deal with it right. So the second thing we do is write the other ratio. And the other ratio, we're given that we want to find out how much does 20 cookies cost. So the 20 goes on top because it's cookies. And then what you're looking for is money, and that goes on bottom because this is money. So these correspond. This is cookies. Those correspond. you got two separate scenarios, so they correspond vertically. Now you just do the cross product. That's going to be 12x is equal to 27 times 20, which is uh, 270 times 20, which is $54. Divide both sides by 12, and you find out that x equals 3.5, or for this problem, $3.50. And, um, $4.50. The actual answer, if you divide 54 by 12, it's $4.50, not $3.50. And that's your answer.